Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today we're going to do another Timu reveal. Just got another order in and this one I've been kind of waiting on. So, let's kind of get to it here. If you would, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell up to you leave a comment down below and let's get into this this one I've been waiting for um, I think this one's gonna be a fun one again I'll put the numbers of what I paid for these somewhere around the screen <laughs> just like I did the last video if you haven't seen that video go back and look at it you might like some of the stuff I got. Hey, who knows? So far, I've been pretty impressed with Timu. So, just to let you know. Again, I paid for this with my own money. It's not a paid advertisement. It's not a paid sponsorship. So, we're going to get into this one right now. Here we go. Number one. The brown fixed blade knife. Now it's got a look. I believe it's leather. Feels like it's leather. I don't know if it's good leather or cheap leather, but it does smell like leather. Feels pretty good. It's in there tight. It's not loose. Handle feels good. Got a bell loop on it. Look at the marks, the quality on that. Even the sheath is done up pretty nice. Now this impressed me here. That snap, kind of tight. Not going to just bump it and it's not going to pop right out. There we go. Look at that. Look at the etchings on that blade. It goes all the way through it. And this thing's beautiful. I'll go ahead and take that off. Look at that. It's on both sides. This thing is beautiful. You know what? I just noticed. I don't know if you can see it, but the glass breaker here at the back, it's even got the etchings back here. That's nice. That is nice. It's a good solid blade. Goes all the way through. She's sharp. I'll tell you right now. Too sharp. Look at that handle on there. So, I've been pretty impressed with this. That's number one. I like that one. Now, some of these boxes were kind of crushed. They did come from overseas. Just be aware of that. It took me eight days to get them, nine days to get them. But... They're pretty nice. Here's number two. Look at that quality on that sheet. Got a belt hook on it again. Now this one, it's in there pretty tight. Look at that blade again. That's etched all the way through. That's nice. Again, it's one piece of metal. Nice handle on it. Nice little thumb hole, or pinky hole, excuse me. Or I guess you could stick your thumb in it. I wouldn't, but hey, again, she's sharp. I didn't even know Timu had knives. Kind of impressed with what I found so far. Alright, that's number two. Number three is now going to be my... I'm going to say my everyday carry. I really like this knife. It's been pretty... I just opened them up and I'm pretty impressed with it. 
it is a browning. I don't know if you can see that. Well, that's what it says it is. It says stainless steel knife, browning, got the, the buck on it, the whole nine yards. Um, does say made in China though. So I don't know if it's a knockoff or if it's an actual browning. But I can tell you this much, I like it. Look at that. Got the glass breaker on it. A seatbelt cutter. Which I like. Look at that. Nice little clip on the back to put on your pocket. That's pretty solid. It doesn't move. Wiggle it, it doesn't move. I've got knives around here, you wiggle them. They've been used a couple times, they start moving. It's got the thumb release. Pretty responsive. Got the nice little disconnect there. Release the blade. It's nice, and you can feel that, that tension in there when you close it. So you got to make sure you close it all the way. Got the finger. Now that's pretty good. And it does say browning on the on the blade. I'm going to have to say this one's going to be my everyday carry. Eh, might have to kick up between them all. <laughs> but See, that one just got to take a little pressure to, to close it. That's number three. Now, number four. Number four I do like also. It's another... Got a little bit of a glass breaker there. Not very big, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Again, you got a seatbelt cutter on it. Nice little tension for the belt or pocket, wherever you want to carry it. Again, it's got some tension on the on it, so it pops out pretty good. It's a pretty knife. This one could be my everyday carry also. Might have to carry two or three knives, I don't know yet. And she's sharp. I'll give her that. Look at the detail in that thing. That thing is pretty. Again, you got to make sure you put some tension on it. Because she does have some pressure behind her. You got the thumb. Or the finger. That one I, I kind of like too. I'm leaning towards the browning, but I don't know. That browning's got some competition with that one. Like I said, I may have to carry two or three different knives. Now, this one's a mini. This one's a buck. Little mini buck. I guess you could hang it on your keychain or in a tackle box uh, whatever she's kind of cute I've played with it for a couple minutes you got your thumb deal here but it's tight and I mean tight you ain't flipping that one with your thumb you got to open it up and it's hard but she's not bad she's kind of cute I mean even ugly knives need love sometimes too so it does not lock you've got to close that one I'm hoping she'll open to loosen up with being used. But I'm figuring for a tackle box, for 
a little toolbox carry. I think it'll be a good knife. And if you can see there, it says Buck USA on it. So, eh, we'll, uh, we'll have to see how that one does. Can't say I'm that impressed with it so far. But, like I said, for a, in the tackle box, throw it in the toolbox, you know, hang it on your keychain. You'll probably lose it, I don't know about that, but not a bad little knife. I mean, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Did come with a box. It said buck on it. Now, well, on the back of the box it says made in China. Uh, that could just be the sticker, I don't know. I don't know. But it's not a bad knife, I mean, for the price. Now, for number six. Number six, this one. Look at the details in that. Kind of thin. Real tight, though. Got a nice strap on the back. This is not a bad looking little knife. Still got the flip out action, which is pretty good. Look at the detail on that blade. Now, a lot of these said stainless 444 steel. Now, I don't know. I don't know what they're made out of, what kind of steel. They are pretty nice knives. Like I said, a lot of them, the boxes were pretty crushed. Um, but, all in all, for what I gave for them, I don't think I could beat them. There's no rattle in these knives at all, any of them. I don't know. I might have to carry the buck from my everyday. Carry my little brown one here for dress up. And when I'm out on the Harley, maybe carry that one. I like that one. But, I gotta admit, I kinda like this one too. Maybe this is the one I'll carry when we go to dinner and I need to cut a steak or something. I'll just whip that out instead of using their knives. At least I know that would cut it. But on the other hand, let's be honest, that's a pretty little knife too. That'd be a good dinner knife. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this as much as I did. I was looking forward to this one. Well, like I said, I'm going to leave the numbers above here. Somewhere on the screen, what I paid for them. Now, this is what I paid for them. Prices do change. Prices vary. Yeah, it is what it is. But I'm going to leave them. That way you know what I paid for them. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope everybody has a great day. You know, like, subscribe. Leave a comment. Share the video. You know, so far I'm impressed with Timu. And remember, it's not always the destination, it's the journey.